We're going to style a shoot, and um, I'm going to take you through the concept of how I came up with this shoot. I had a friend shoot the forest for me in Pennsylvania, come back the night before I got the pictures, set up how I was going to do it. This has about 60 layers, so if you're going to be doing something that's more, it needs to be more accurate, you need to make sure you do your homework. I'm going for this look, but I'm going to be open-minded to trying other angles and poses as well. But this is the one that I'm going for, and if I go to do this and I find it's not working, then I make sure that my mind is creative and open enough to problem solve and try other ideas with it. Oh my goodness, that would be so amazing if I had this beautiful Victorian looking woman in a fashion type dress with the jewelry and everything, and she was holding a violin like this, totally in a model pose, arm out, and then I had music, sheet music, pinned to the curtain and scattered all over the floor and pinned to the curtain with antique brooches. Perfect. So I started stylizing it. Started putting my own twist to it, okay? And I got inspiration by what was around me. We're gonna be shooting today like we're shooting for a client and we're looking for the shot that we're gonna turn into a final image. If it hurts, it works. Yeah, turn your body this way because I want to see like the angle here. Yeah, I want to show curve. I want to see that. Like, see down here, I love this. I like how you're chin up a little bit. Turn up a chin, chin down. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, I got my shot. Look how great your legs look. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make the reds a little richer up here. I put it on 60% on opacity and then I did a bigger clone tool and I clicked and in the same area and then I just Blur, I blended it in here. It could get me at all. I had to close down everything. I had to close down my mind. Too many things caught me. Too much could make me blind. I've seen so much and so many things. Kind of a light kit or what light? Okay, yeah, that's a good. Do you want to show? I use Lightroom to has a capture program and you can actually click your mouse and fire the camera from the computer. It's pretty cool. Every type of light, light head will have a different speed ring that you can use to attach it. This is a pro photo light kit so it has its own special speed ring that attaches to their, their light heads. So Chelsea, come on out and let's, let's try to make a picture. F stop, I'm at 4, ISO 100 because I want that nice clean image. And I'm at shooting at 200th of a second. I'm going to try this again. Splash. Focusing on her eyes. And I also like to use autofocus. Look how that pops now. That looks really cool. You gotta make sure it's doing what you want. Yeah. Happier now. If I go into zoom, I can't see the edge of that selection because it's feathered so much. So if I look at that, see that? Someone said something? What do you want to learn? They start to pop, the eyes. Who hasn't done this before? So if you can shoot in your eye, have that capabilities, I recommend it because you can go right away. It's like she was saying, if this is, if it comes in looking like this, it can be like this in a heartbeat. You can transform someone quite a bit without it being very noticeable at all. And it really makes people happy. So. shots if I see
see them getting stiff, sh shake it out. All right, let's shake it off, shake it off, let's walk around, let's do something. Because that will help them put them at ease and remind them that this isn't a gun pointed at their head. I want you to go ahead and look off camera. I don't mind the sort of brightness behind it. It kind of just adds a little bit of depth and dimension. Stand up here, and I want you to just kind of hop to me. Okay, go for it. <laughs> awesome. And then bring your hand in front of your lap, yeah. The back room to be a part of it or not part of it. So if I don't, I'll shoot in like a 2 8. Big toothy grin. No! Ah! Love it. <laughs> But you never want to tilt. Like, I am so anti-tilting, it's not even funny. So like, yeah, don't tilt near me. And then just your left hand. <laughs> yeah, so I can get it in That's what works. And then pull your chin chair. Okay, go down. Nice. One, two, three, go. I love it. edited images to a client because they can't understand what you can do or how it's going to not look like that. The color correct is 30 and that's what you're going to show to the client. The red part pops up and you see that's the overexposed. As long as it's not on her face, I'm not worried about it. Going to the right, you know, warms it up and then to the left, cools it down. So I like warmer tones. I tend to gravitate towards that. And everything you did in the shade, that would be another shade. Exactly. Exactly. Each one you're doing something different. Brighten the brights, um, hit some of these highlight areas. Um, so that's what I do. So that's, that's, my, that's my Lightroom workflow.